Today we're going to uh, learn how to make one of these double easel cards. And although they, they look complicated, they're really quite simple. So um, the first part that we're going to work on is making this bottom bit, this base. So we get our card stock and we want to cut it to 30 centimeters along, which I know that's 30. And down the way, we cut it at uh, 10 and a half centimeters. So all my measurements today will be in centimeters. And once we've done that, we turn it round and we score it at seven centimeters and 15 centimeters. Once we've scored it, we'll fold it and we'll just define those folds a bit with our bone folder. And that's our first layer. For our second one, we trim our cardstock to 8.5 by 14. So we're going to go 14 centimetres along here, which is there. And we're going to go eight and a half here. Then we will score that at three and a half centimeters. And seven centimeters. Then fold it and Give it a nice crisp fold. And now it's just a matter of putting everything together. So we're going to put a piece of pattern paper on the bottom layer. And the paper that I'm working with is Graphic 45 Couture Collection. Uh, um, this is brilliant paper for doing cards like this because there's so many elements on the paper that you can cut out and they work really well with uh, this style of card. So that will go on the bottom layer. And then we're going to stick this one on the bottom layer. So we'll just put a bit of tape on there. And we want to measure down about six and a half centimetres to place that. So we'll just mark our paper. And there's my mark there, so I'm going to pop that on there. Now I'm not going to decorate this part of the card because that's where you would write your greeting. So that that's done now. That's your basic, that is your basic fold. Now we're just going to finish decorating the card. We need a stopper to hold that, that one down. So we'll pop that on with quite thick foam pads give it a little bit of height and we'll place that about there going to pop this one on the back so we only need tape on the bottom part don't want to put tape up there otherwise when you close your card it'll stick to that and we don't want that and also choose carefully what you put on this layer because you don't want it to go above the height of the card otherwise it won't fit in your envelopes 
So then we're just going to put a little bit of tape down on the bottom there. And just stick that on there like that. And that's our back layer. Now for the front layer, we might put some flowers. We might have some flowers just sticking out the edge there. I'm going to put on there maybe oh, something like that maybe I think so so we'll put a little bit of tape on the back of that and that is our double easel card finished Thank you for watching.